All right, in the red corner, we have Momo for show playing as the Wehrmacht. And we're now going to turn off Fog of War and check out the blue player who's playing as the Brits. It is Dan... Daniel D, but we're going to call him Dan for short because that's easier. Gonna hide this because we don't need to see all that. And let's see what people have selected. Ken Crad instantly on the build here for Momo. And he hasn't gone straight into any kind of commander choice just yet. If you were going to go for coastal reserves, you'd probably pick that straight away. The tank coastal battle group, but he hasn't gone for that. And what do we see? We have sappers. Sapper spam here for Dan. Been noticing this a lot lately, even in some team games, people just using the sappers. Sappers are just so good. Like early game, they're really cheap, cost effective, and they just, you know, generally beat whatever they could be up against, it, you know, when they if they can close the distance in time. Let's see though. And with the sapper start, you can get some decent map controls. You can see already he's already captured his fuel. Manpower cap, he's capturing the VP as well early as well. Actually, the Ketting Crab though is also a very fast capper, so I think it's, you know, Mobby one, I I probably should personally maybe try and get more Ketting Crads out, but it does kind of lower your uh, your combat presence at the start. MG going to set up oh, and fight these sappers here. The sappers are fully in cover. MG, although they are doing a little bit of damage here at medium range to the, uh, to the MG. But the sappers will probably lose the engagement overall. Oh, he's decided to unpack. And all this is new. I've not noticed that this is a brand new little uh, shortcut path that's been put here. Uh, maybe that's new. I've not seen that before, but uh, it's the first time I haven't played one ones in a while, actually, so that might be old. But that's new for me. A little shortcut there. That used to be, you know, you have to go all the way around there, right on the back there. But now, infantry can go through there. I, I don't think vehicles could fit through there. It looks too small for vehicles. Ever build a sandbag wall before? Location secure. Moving on. Now we've got some grenadiers out. So that night fighter skin it looks quite nice. He's also gone straight away for the infantry upgrade as well. From this tech structure over here. It's the training sensor. So yeah, he's gone for infantry training. He spent his first 30 fuel into that. Getting Craig wants to capture the VP, but I think it's better of it with all the sappers around there. Four sappers now on the field. Early game, this is going to be good. But later on, it's not going to be as good. The machine guns, probably a good choice here to counter the sappers. Because if you can keep them at range, they won't be any good. They will, they will do nothing. So if you're going to have overlap, two overlapping machine guns covering covering e you know, each other, they'll do very well to hold this position. You just do not want to engage the sappers in, in close quarters combat here. Sappers being aggressive, going for the v, the uh, fuel on the right as well. But Ken Crad making a little play to just try and disconnect the whole right hand side. Nice play there. Kind of needs to do something like that because he's got, he's losing a lot of map control right now, Momo. We have out there. He's trying to put down like some kind of mine or a booby trap. He's put a mine. He's probably going to cancel that because it's going to be spotted here. He's going to get away there. I think he's cancelled that in time yet. Yeah. And now he's going to try and go for the other cutoff, most likely. While well, the sappers are trying, busy trying to capture the, the fuel here. Three-man sappers trying to flank round on the machine gun, but it's already really low, so it's not going to do too much. Should immediately retreat that, to be honest, because it's going to get... If this MG sets up, it could shoot it on retreat, potentially, as well. This one, again, it's a good overlapping machine gun. This should cover here. But no, he actually has got no line of sight. He loves a grenade in on top of the machine that's clumped up. Only takes two... Two casualties, not too bad, but not great either. Okay, he's got air and C, and he's dropping down himself a medical upgrade there. Field infirmary on the point. Not only this will give him forward reinforcement and healing, it'll make it much harder for his opponent to come down here with some infantry or the Kettingrad and get the decap on this in future. Let's see the sappers approaching because the Kettingrad has that extra little bit extra vision when it's stationary. Gotta easily get away there. Plenty of space for the Kettingrad to run away. These sappers constantly capping up on the right. Let's see. We do have now tier two built as well, and we do have a two-two-one in production as well as a Jaeger squad. 
And also, we finally have the first infantry section here now from Dan. Trying to put a cheeky mine down, though, but being spotted by the machine gun is probably going to cancel that. Stop Sappers Stop have no way of really dealing with a 2 2 1. It's not like Company Heroes 2 where they had 80 grenades. They only lob, lob frag grenades, I believe. It's the infantry sections that lob 80 grenades. But he's only got the one. I imagine he's going to instantly upgrade in the infantry section to AT rifles. He does have the 50 munitions. And you'll be seeing this inst probably instantly upgrade with the AT rifles. Because he needs some way to counter that. Let's see if I do that. Yeah, in see, see infantry section over here is upgrading with the AT rifles. We're losing a victory point to enemy action. Mines was exploded somewhere. <gasps> no, the can crowd hit a mine. Oh no, that's a, that's a mis big mistake there from uh, Momo. Probably should have expected a mine to be there, considering the sappers were trying to plant a mine over here as well. Probably should always try and capture from the fringe of the territory. You'd normally expect mines to be planted in this area. This is the shortest route from you know to, from your base sector. He has now got a sweeper on his squad. Is he going to go for healing in his base? Yeah, those pioneers could definitely do with some healing. Another mine. He's honestly trying to spam mines down right now. All the AT rifle squad get a volley onto the 221. Need to keep backing away. One more volley would probably kill it. A map control for Dan, though. Honestly, you know, good job. Honestly, trying to, you know, plant mines. Has got, he's got the Jaegers, he's upgraded a Shrek, but there's no armor on the field at the moment at all. So the Shrek's kind of a bit of a, a waste right now. I feel like Momo needs to make a, you know, a proper dive onto a cutoff and lock it down. So that he can, you know, get back in this game a bit. I mean, in terms of, like, losses, like, he's only lost the Kitten Crest, so he's not doing that badly. But it's just the map control, man. His map control is just really struggling. Tappers, though, just eating bullets there in the center of the map. Will they go down? Probably not. He does unpack the MG a bit too prematurely. Second, Pioneer, uh, Sapper squad low and also being forced back as well. Has got base healing now as well. And the Jaegers, you know, opting to go for this fuel point, trying to further deny... Dan from being able to tech up and get vehicles out. Under fire, yeah? Let's have a look at the uh, tech here in a second. Driver. Driver. He hasn't got any upgrades just yet in the platoon command post. He's now just just called in a, a commando section. Going to be dropping it over here on the fuel point behind these uh, Jaegers. So maybe with the intention of probably wiping them on retreat. So that's not a bad little play there. Where's the 221? 221's just been a bit bit slow to react here. Could have been moving over to the right to deal with these commanders. Commanders have got really not a great way to counter the 221 if the 221's kept further back. But actually, a lot of these commanders are actually dropping man as they're dropping down here. They're already half squad, actually, surprisingly. Here comes a grenade. Momo is paying attention, though. Taking going to take minimal damage from that grenade. The beggars are threatening a fuel point. Make some usage out of this field infirmary, getting healed up here. Friend looking very low. Finally gets bit one. Two of the poor guys burn. In retreat is vet his five man Jaeger squad as well. Good idea. He wants to try and save the I think he merged then actually. All retreating. MG getting flanked here in the centre by a sapper squad. He's gonna reset up. Maybe a bit too late. Is he gonna have a grenade here? I don't think he's got the munitions too. He's only got twenty two right now. How many kills has 2-2-1 got so far? It's currently only got four kills. So it hasn't been doing too much so far. Oh, he's going to lob a grenade. But easily dodged. Momo paying attention there. He's constantly harassing the fuel. So good job for Momo there. Let's see. So we've got the commanders out now. He's still got. He's got 152 fuel. So I imagine he's probably just going to go straight to tier four here, and not even go. He's going to skip everything from this tier from the platoon command post. And I think what was that? Is he squad then? 
I think so. Yes, he did. His, his pioneers just went down because he had to buy a new pair of pioneers. So the pioneers on the left just got wiped here by, I think, some sappers. The ones with the, uh, the sweeper. That's a shame. Just being aggressive with this machine gun. Brand new machine gun. Should be focusing that down. Possibly a good idea to use the smoke grenade from the Jaegers here to deny the machine gun. But it looks like it's not needed as he retreats anyway. And Momo will clean up the left. He's going to, two, two, one's going to go straight into a mine. Oh my god, that was very lucky. Almost getting completely wiped by that mine. He should be expecting mines on every point by this point. So he needs to be very careful when pushing over. Oh, that survivor is like probably 5 or 10 HP, something like that. We do have a Werble Wind out now. That's going to be very good against all the uh, infantry. In I mean, he does have the single strike to deal with any kind of armor that comes on the field for the moment, but he probably might want to go for maybe a pack gun. He's got tier two, so I guess I think he, maybe a Mardo might be able to do that. We do have an eight, uh, six pounder on the field. Counts uh, the Werble Wind. Hopefully the two two one as well for Dan. Big force coming out now from Dan in the center of the map. Is he going to push? He's going to try and push onto the left-hand side. The commandos are on, on, on hold fire, waiting to ambush something in the center of the map. He's going to try and creep forward. He might get revealed here for a split second. No, he doesn't. He was able to creep up for a long way. Out of cover. He's going to get right on top of the 2-2-1. Uh, two, two, I think they can lob an AT grenade. Here they go. Oh, but they lob it, and it... Missed? That was weird. Well, there's a bug there. That's unfortunate. That was a that, he, that was a good play there from him, but unlucky. And he also the two two one did get hit. So if that had connected, he might have wiped it with the with the anti tank gun shot as well. So very unlucky there. So it seems like certain lot like uh, throwables from certain units are still bugging because I played a four before the other day, and I can't remember who it was. It might have been Runfell. He tried to lob a, a satchel charge from a bazooka team from the Americans, and it didn't. He didn't. They didn't lob it for some reason. So it still seems there's a couple of bugs, unfortunately, with Company Heroes 3 like that. The are threatening a fuel point. We'll use the Werber Wind from, uh, on the right-hand side to help stop anyone trying to capture this, uh, or stop him cap from decapturing this fuel point. Map Control looking better for Momo now. However, we do now have the Crusader in the build. I think that's a Crusader. A it is a Crusader. And he's not too far from getting a second one out after the first one, since he's been saving his, all his fuel up. Where's the anti-tank gun? I mean, possibly had an opportunity here I was with the Shrek. I don't even, I don't even know if Momo knows that this is an infield infirmary right now. So he might have had a chance to move in with the Webwood and with the Shrek to knock this out. And that, I mean, taking this out would be would be massive because he's utilizing this heavily. He's not got healing in his base either. Oh, Sapa getting very low on retreat, but probably going to get away with a slither of health. Well, it's lobbing a grade here against the Jaegers, but oh, we're very quick to dodge that. Easily jump in and out. BP's looking fairly healthy for both sides. Anti-tank gun and Crusader now going to open up on the Werber win. Where is the where's the Shrek squad? It's nowhere to be found. The Ye the Werber win is on its own here, unsupported. Very bad. And it's gonna go down here. There's nothing to stop this Crusader from just cleaning this up. Even even a Panzerfaust won't do. He's gonna lob a smoke. Good use of attack ground from Dan through the smoke to deny. The Werber win here, and then he's going to keep shooting. Gets, I mean, one more shot, and it's down. Gets Panzerfausted, but it's not going to mean anything. It's probably another attack ground through the smoke here. Very excellent play there from Dan. Marta does show up, though. And now this this uh, Crusader needs to get out of here very quickly. It might even die to now to this Crusader if it keeps flanking it, because, again, there's nothing. The Shreks are on the right. He's actually going to move the Crusader the wrong way when he should have kept on going for the right, but he doesn't know exactly know where the Shreks are. He knows now he's going to get hit. He's going to get hit. Now the Marder's going to keep chasing. So this might be dead now. He's got... Oh, unlucky he's gone the wrong way here. We have... The, the anti tank guns pushed up to get the Marder to cover the retreat. But the Shreks get the last kill in onto the Crusader. But the anti tank gun shoots the Marder. And again, a good attack round through the smoke. Finishes off the Marder. Unlucky, but good positioning though. Really well played there from Dan to, to bring up his anti tank gun to help 
um, you know, because he knows that the group that Marla's probably going to push back in to try and get the Crusader and retreat. But overall, a good win there for Dan. He gets the Web win and a Marta kill just for the cost of his Crusader. The 2 2 1 to start capturing territory now. Enemy squaddies are getting too comfortable. Push them back. And Dan, you know, can easily replace that, that, uh, that Crusader as well. Dan, Crusaders are fairly cheap. But their costs are still for like Crusaders. are probably one of the best tanks in Company Heroes 3 at the moment. The grenade coming in. Double grenade from both door entrances. Hoping to get the wipe here. But unfortunately, the, the Grens jumped out a little bit too soon. Those grenades. See the KD here as well. Top. The suppression here coming for the machine gun. AT rifle squad for hitting the 2 2 1. Here we go. Jaegers, even with their. Standard guns here, not G43 upgrade. I'm not doing too bad against Vet 2 Sappers. They're going to use a grenade here, the Sappers, to help win the fight. But Momo, paying attention, doesn't get hit by that grenade at all. Enemy ground for MG gets flanked to the center. It's going to, going to have to fall back. Another Crusader out here. No, not Crusader. It's a Matilda. Interesting. Is this a good choice? I would say possibly yes. So it's going to be slower than a Crusader. It is a bit more expensive than Crusader, but against Shrex, it's more likely to bounce Shrex from the front. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Pretty sure it's a lot more durable than a Crusader as well. Honestly, Momo's MGs are constantly getting flanked, and he might lose his machine gun. Commando's going to be shooting it across the no cover road here. Oh, are they going to get it? Probably not, because it's got too far away now. But yeah, Momo's MG... I'm constantly seeing Momo's MGs constantly getting flanked lately, and it's not doing too well. He's got a G43 Jaeger now as well. Oh, are they walking to the Pioneer Mine? And that's a, I think that's the first infantry wipe I've seen in this game here against Dan. So losing one of his four and original scores. But no! The G43 um, Jaegers bite the dust to the Commandos on retreat, as well as the Matilda showing up, delivering a fatal blow there. I mean, that's a good trade, though, for Dan. I'd, t I'd, I'd trade a, uh, a Sapper squad for a Jaeger, a Vet Jaeger squad. A G43 upgrade. Any day. The enemy has pushed us back we also see another build choice here for Dan. What's he going for? Is that another Matil? No, he's going for a Crusader. Okay, I think that's fine because, he can, you know, the Matilda is, as it is quite slow. He needs a, he needs a light vehicle to dive around the map. So maybe quickly QRF potentially, whereas the Matilda can't do that. So I think, you know, diversifying his armor is a good choice. Meanwhile, Momo, what's he got? He's got only 58 fuel. He's been really struggling for fuel. He's still... You know, he's connecting his fuel again over here. What's he got? He has gone for tier 4. But it's going to be a while before his Panzer IV comes out. I feel like this actually set, suspending all his fuel here might be his doom on the tier 4 because he needs like he, he probably could have should have probably invested his fuel right now into maybe two martyrs to give him a chance because these tanks are just going to bleed Momo hard right now as he, all he's got for AT is, Shre is two Shreks this is not enough I think those Shreks just missed or just bounced on that Matilda and yeah they can easily get focused down here they might lose this squad here on retreat there's nothing to stop these tanks from charging through the center now and clearing up a lot of infantry I'm opting over some stop strooping for some I mean, he needs a team, really. I mean, they're going to be really good against the Sappers, but he's got really nothing for these uh, for these tanks, unfortunately. Yeah, he's just not. He's just. He's going to take too long here to get the Panzer IV out. He's nowhere near going to get the Panzer IV out. He's going to invest into Tier IV, realize he's just going to lose the game before that, and he's going to he's going to be forced to go Marders anyway now. Oh, two Shreks, though. Connect nicely on the Crusader. Crusader kind of overextended. He might get the wipe on this. He's going to get it if they both connect, and he does. Big mislay from Dan. Overextending there. Should have been leading with the, the Matilda there instead, because that can take a bit more, more damage. Yeah, big misplay there from Dan. 
careless of throwing away that that uh, that, that Crusader. So maybe Momo might have a glimmer of hope here to get back into the game. His VPs aren't looking too hot. His map control is shocking. Maybe he might be able to do something. Though, again, we can see... Uh, oh, look, it looks like um, Dan has gone himself for the... Uh, what's this? I think this is... Let me remind myself. It's a centaur. But it's the... Not the company here is two centaur. It's the one that acts kind of like a brumbar. Um, with with, with, it, with this round type. Very good against uh, support weapons and infantry. It's behind cover. So possibly a good choice here to deal with the um, the Shreks if they're, if they're hiding behind cover. Switch back over to Momo. Is he building his Panzer IV now? Yeah, he's finally getting his Panzer IV out now. But realistically, Panzer IV, I mean, he's not sure what he's going to do as good of a job against the, uh, the Matilda. Well, it's definitely going to be better against infantry, but he needs AT more than anything, really. Because he can just he can just make another stop strip and sort of he needs anti-infantry, I think. But you've got to be thinking about the manpower investment into tier four as well. So if he hadn't gone for that, he might have been able to go for I don't know double Marta and then maybe a couple more Jaeger squads or something. He's also gone. Finally gone. He's gone for mechanized as well. He's not really had any utility out of that, to be honest. He's also gone for the 8 rad. Which is interesting when he could have gone with the Stug D and the um the soft and call in, which could have been nice anti-infantry cape, you know, stuff there. But I guess he, you know, he might want to save it for two. He could have gone Panther, right? I mean he's not too far off Panther now, so. Taylor mm. eating two Shreks. As before, getting some worth out here. Anti tanker moving up here. Should be trying, maybe smoking this now. So it could shoot the Panzer IV. He definitely says the smoke grenades available on the Yeagers. He hasn't used them once this game, Momo. He kind of needs some forward reinforcement. Does. He doesn't have the, uh, the half track, does he here? No, he needs tier three for the half track. Oh, again, once again, Commandos find the machine gun. This time they finally get a wipe. Is he going to go for the steal? He is. He's not near, he's not nowhere near Pop Cap, so he's fine to go. Oh, look at the Jaegers bite. The, it gets smashed there by the, um, by the Centaur round there. Getting very low. Lucky he didn't get, get wiped then. I mean, they were both very low health anyway, about half of each squad anyway, so. But a uh, damn. If they were fully healthy, they probably wouldn't have taken that many losses. And you've got to be thinking now, Momo, these are expensive squads to reinforce. You'll see his his, his manpower right now is was, was about 280, but now it's going to drop all the way down here as he has to constantly reinforce these guys. T21 now. Vet C3. Does have the scout awareness, so he can get a nice lot of vision for himself. Now... For me, Momo needs some kind of indirect fire, I and mean, he also needs more AT to deal with these two tanks on the field. But he needs something to maybe deal with this um, this enemy uh, anti tank gun. Possibly, I mean, even he, tier three for an would be probably a good idea. But does he have the resources to do it? Not really. He does. Does he have tier one? He has not got infantry core upgrade either, unfortunately. So he can't really build a mortar and then instantly drop a flare over the top of the, his opponent, so he knows where to barrage. So yeah, I don't know, Momo. Back to full strength. The, the, the fact that he has to spend, spend a lot of his map on reinforcing these squads right now is, is, is hurting him. Meanwhile, Dan's just getting strong. He's now opting to go for a footman guards. Is that a good choice? I would say, actually... Mm, yeah, I think that's not a bad choice. I mean, you know, we'll be able to fight the Panzer IV. The, the guards are also going to be good against infantry as well. And with the yeah, guys being upgraded with, with uh, Shreks and our G43s. They're not going to be as effective against the the, uh, the guards either. Oh, this MG getting caught out of the open. Panzer going to get a good flanking shot in here. Yes, it does. Oh, the 2 2 one caught out of position. Dies. Careless loss of that. We also have a the strafing run coming in here. The anti-tank rocket lawyer coming in. 
Find a dive, the pans are four. But all the rounds missing. I mean it is it's only I think it's only a two pounder gun on the uh the Matilda, so it's not gonna have a good chance here. And also another machine gun from Momo is getting stolen here. Honestly, th these commandos have been absolutely a nightmare for Momo to deal with. His machine guns just constantly getting uh, getting nicked and harassed and forced to retreat in. So great utility. You know, this 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 commando squad's had some really good value this game. And now Momo has no machine guns left. He has no indirect fire to deal with all the stolen machine guns. So it's going to be really hard for him to try and push back onto the field now. And um, I mean, that loiter didn't really achieve too much. Oh, and we now have... Um, Panzer IV with some Stoss Trooping on. Just so made himself another Panzer IV this, and pushed the Stoss Trooping on top of that, right? I mean, yeah, pushing you know, pushing on full force onto the right is a, is not a bad idea for a moment. He knows the anti-tank gun was on the left, so he might be able to steal back his machine guns here. One machine gun getting very low here. Should try and focus that down. He needs this back. He does get the wipe here. The second machine gun here. He might even be able to wipe the commandos. Dan caught completely un unprepared for this on the right hand side. Great Panzer IV push here on the left. This this uh, Sentai is also very low as well. Might get focus fired. Anti tank setting up. Now would be an amazing time to drop a smoke bomb here to completely um, neutralize the, the the six the uh, the six pounder. Still no smoke from Momo coming in to deny the six pounder. The six pounder is constantly shooting shells here, but he's going to keep going anyway. Yeah, here comes the smoke now. Finally coming in. Great, that, that's great. He's going to go. He's going to push forward here against the uh, Matilda. He gets the wipe of the Matilda as well. Commandos get a good hit there onto the Panzer IV, giving it a damage engine. He uses the Stoss Trooper to kill the infirmary as well here. Grenades coming in. Oh, didn't need to retreat two of those squads here. Now the Panzer IVs just need to focus the anti-tank gun. And suddenly Momo making a really good play here. And might actually win the game because it's just a huge cleanup here. He needs to focus this anti-tank gun down. He does get it down. Could steal it if he wants to. He's got the, he's got the pioneers here, but he's going to opt to go for the kill. This Panzer IV pushing in. It's healthy, good. Here come the guards out finally. He just try, try and creep back. He needs to keep this Panzer IV alive. Keep creeping it back here. The MG though is going to cover against the guards pushing forward. Has he built another? I think Momo should try and get himself another pioneer out really quickly so he can get his tanks back into into full health. Keeps needs to focus down the anti-tank gun. Oh, it missed the shot here. He's going to try and go for the recruit. No, nope, too late this time. And look at that, man. Wow, what a play there from Momo. Just because Dan did not have any mine. He had no mines down. He had no, you know, he's got no, nothing to stop a full push like that. He was caught with his pants down. Needed, like, I mean, you know, both his tanks aren't really tank destroyers. They're both anti-infantry tanks, so he kind of needed a bit more AT then. One six-pounder wasn't going to cut it. But yeah, well played from Momo. Suddenly, it looked like he was going to lose the game. You know, he was losing machine gun after machine gun. But now he's suddenly back in the game. He's got both his machine guns back as well. He killed pretty much, he killed both those vehicles. He wiped another sapper squad as well. And the anti-tank gun. So huge win there from, Mo, uh, from Momo. And he's got to be careful. He doesn't lose these units to this crusader on the retreat here. When you are. Now, if I was Momo, like, you know, now, if I, you know, if in his, you know, if I was him, he, I would be no, not now knowing that, you know, I've killed all his armor, so my two Panzer IVs should be enough to be able to deal with everything on the field now. Possibly a second Stoss Trooper squad would be a good choice, or maybe even back teching now for a Nebel, because um, I would suspect my opponent would start building any tank guns to counter me. Momo has got a bit of munitions. He could be upgrading his Pioneers with sweeper packages. It does increase their repair speed as well. He's also got himself. No, he's gone for a wesp. Okay, we were saying that he did need some uh, indirect fire, so a wesp has been called on. So that's going to be quite useful. Probably going to be wanting to use that maybe on the machine gun over there. Maybe he might want to. Start, he might even be a, want to uh, barrage the enemy base here. But yeah, Momo needs to now just finish the game off and go for the cutoffs and stop his opponent from having any chance to come back on the field. I, don't, I really don't think this is this game's now recoverable from Dan. He's just lost too much in that push. Here comes the wesp. It's now firing on the base. Get some lucky shots, maybe. 
It's the guards, but again, there's no healing in the base. Almost. Second Crusader out now. Commandos. Once again, get a good flank on a machine gun. Second machine gun is going to cover the first. We'll allow this machine gun to get back to base. Parasanti, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Appreciate that, mate. And just a quick reminder, guys, if you are watching this game on YouTube, 75% um, of my subscribers, uh, or 75% of people are watching this are not subscribed. So, would, you know, if you want to help the channel out and help support, please consider hitting that subscription button. So, let's open up on the Jaeger squad over here, forcing it back on the left-hand side. Getting very low, getting chased down retreat. We had a Panzer Force out of position here. The Jaeger squad's going to get chased quite far back, but it's going to live. Doesn't want to be too aggressive. He knows those Panzer Fours are on the map somewhere. And he can't be too greedy right now. At all. Let's see what Momo's going for now. Is this a fresh Gren squad or has he had this Gren the entire game? But he had three infantry kills. I can't remember if he lost the Gren. Silence! I want to say it's a fresh Gren, because it's already 31 minutes and three minutes. Yeah, so he must have lost his Gren earlier on, unless it's only had three kills the entire game. Our adversary is He's repairing the sandbags? I think that's interesting. Grenade being loved again over here. Oh, the commando. That three commandos. Still causing major issues again for, for Momo. Just can't risk capping on, you know, with, with just squads, isolated squads like that, when those commandos on the map. Escalivar is just saying it's a Gren squad purely for merging purposes. I guess that's useful. Sasha, we need to be careful. Kind of clumped up against the Crusader, going to be backing, over, backing up here. You know, the Panzer Fours against the Crusaders would win if they took the straight up fight. And he's also got the Shreks as well here. Crusaders being caught here. They have to, they can't go straight back here. They've got to go around the side here. Panzer Fours pushing in. There's a new six pounder. But it's on its own. He's got foratized vehicles on, so he's not going to shoot the anti tank. The anti tank going to back up a little bit there. Mobo being a little bit too careful. Taking like another couple of shots from those pan that, that six pounder. He has got the Shreks backing up the Panzer Fours as well. He's got the field once again. We've got the field infirmary again on the map. Allies. So this is Momo's. So it might be a bit confusing, guys. This is Momo's. Uh, this is not Momo. So this is Dan's counter, VP counter, and this is Momo's counter over here. It's kind of opposite of what you think it is. Where Spony, okay, apparently he's killed a vehicle. When did it kill a vehicle? I'm sure it hasn't killed a vehicle. Why well, that says it's killed a vehicle? Let's see, he's going to try and maybe dive over here. He needs to stop his opponent from getting any kind of fuel. So, yeah, Momo should try and po focus this, this cutoff here. He's got his Panzer IV showing his rear to this anti tank, and if it sets up here, not great. Not great positioning of this Panzer IV. Needs to be careful. He does have the Shrek backing it up. Guard Shreks hit. Zooks hit the uh, Panzer IV. Show that Panzer what to do with an opening body. There's the other. The other one's coming in as well here. Oh, this this Panzer IV is getting low. He's, he might dive in here with the with the Crusaders here to try and get the finishing wipe on the Panzer. Panzer IV really low. Needs to pull that all the way back. Damn. it has got to be careful. What have we got active? We've got our assault flares been activated. 25% fire rate and speed for all effective infantry. Uh, they are getting suppressed. And the machine gun in this house in a really good spot, though the flamethrowers are hitting it. That's force going to get in there and assist. That machine gun's got to have to get out of there. Super low. He loses it. He's completely wiped. Sailor's going to try and get in there to assist Shrek there as well, though. That's to help out that Panzer IV. Does have the two pioneers, so you can quite quickly repair them back up to health. Yeah, Momo does have access to the Panther with his tech tree. 
Oh no, he's got to be careful because the pencil's back in away. Oh, good positioning of the six pounder. No, no, not slow to pay attention there. He's probably going to get hit again by his any tank, and maybe. Nope. Yeah, he looks like he repositioned himself. He tried to attack ground through the, the smoke with those uh, those guards, but they missed as well. It's Momo planning, man. He's got to do. He's not really getting much much worth with this um, this Wesp at the moment. I much would prefer to go for a Nebel Weapon myself. Has a much bigger spread. Though he is getting a good hit there on that anti tank gun there. Uh oh, Stoss Troopen getting caught. But the Shrek's going to cover their retreat. Like a Nebelwerfer worth a strike here would have been, you know, it's just a lot more damage in, a, in an area. Hard to dodge multiple Nebel rounds where they all come in very quickly, whereas the West firing rate is just too slow. Also, the Nebel is free in terms of uh, fuel, I think. The enemy have taken our territory. Don't quote me on that. I need to double check. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's a moment pop capped. He's, he is 92 on his population cap right now. He's actually got quite a lot of munitions. He's now, yeah, I was about to say, suggestion plant and put more mines down. He is. He's putting lots of mines down. Good play there. Only 100 points now for Dan. What's he going to do? He's going to make a play for another victory point here. Otherwise, he's going to be out of this game very soon. We do have a third Panzer IV now on the field. And what do we have over here? We've got a... Was that another Matilda? Yes, another Matilda. I think probably a second six-pounder would have been better. These commandos have been really good. I mean, these Shreks are penetrating every shot here against this Matilda. He's actually got an anti-tank rifle as well there. Getting so super low with that Matilda. It's just brand new on the field. You've got to be very careful with that, though. This uh, this uh, Jaeger squad's going to get focused down here by the two Crusaders on retreat. He should get the wipe here. Big miss, a bit too late on the retreat there. Does he get the kill? No. Very lucky Jaeger squad there on retreat. This Panzer IV getting super low. Six pounder is assisting here. Needs to keep pushing back this Panzer IV here. He did get slowed down by the squad here. He's, he's popped the, the, um, the smoke from the Panzer IV. Don't know what he's doing with the Matilda. He's pushing the Matilda back in the fight when it's super low. I think that's a big misplay there. You probably get all the tanks on a control group. That's probably what's going on there. This other Crusader's super low. Needs to pull that one back. And close calls from both players there in the center. I really think... Yeah, Momo... Uh, an anti tank gun for him. Both sides could do with an anti -tank, another anti tank gun. Mine though! Really good mine positioning. Crusader! Caught in a really bad spot, but this Panzer IV is super low. This six pounder is, is, is going to maybe finish off this uh, this Panzer IV. He does. So there's the other. That's the second six pounder there. But that Crusader does finally die. But good trade there for Dan. Crusader cheaper than a, that Panzer IV. The Panzer IV was vetted as well. Yeah, double anti tank guns here for Dan is a very good play. He needs that. It's Mikey Machos, he has gone for the, d the the cap on the right hand side. Oops, sorry guys. So let's stop the drain. Panther now on the field. Now I'm, I I feel like the Panther in Company Heroes three is much better against infantry than what we what you normally typical in Company Heroes two. Supposedly, anyway, from what I've seen, and anyway. But still, I think he, you know, he's pretty many fans of Panzer Fours are enough to deal with these. I think he needs a Nebelwerfer right at this point. He needs something to deal with all these support, these support weapons. And the Wesp is just not Artillery really cutting it. Ready for use. We have vehicles ready to be deployed. Bit of a lull in the fighting right now as both play, both sides kind of lick their wounds and repair their tanks. Oh, once again, the VP drain is back on against Dan. Down to 66 VPs. Machine gun covering the left one. Fixed. Now get back in the fight. The enemy has claimed our sector. Both any tank guns are clumped up here. No mines to support them. So a well, good kind of push here from Momo on these any tank guns. Like one well played shot against that entity tank will instantly wipe it. MG open. I saw someone walking straight into that machine gun, but it does pack up. 
And now these any tank guns have got to be careful. Sosh Ripper would clean these any tank guns very quickly, but there is the Matilda there to cover for them. Trek's trying to go for a wide flank over here. They're not going to be with those Panzer Fours. They are back to the Panther, so they're okay, but this could be a really nice little flank around the side. No, no, it looks like he's just going to go for the VP and just hurry, you know, and just whittle down the, the victory points um, against Daniel very quickly here. Yeah, it doesn't look... Dan has to make some kind of... He's, it's on Dan to make the play right now. And all my bone really needs to do is just keep his focus around the victory points and he'll win this game out. Crusader tries to come over and deal with the Shrek squads. He pushes forces back one. The other one might get the cap here. He's a bit slow to push the squad over there. Meanwhile, the left is a grenade coming in against the stop troop and good grenade. Almost wiping them entirely, but they've only got Zooks left on, so they're not going to be able to do any damage left to those guys. He does get the cap and it's a triple cap now on 27 VPs dropping very quickly. Tries to cap the left point, but he dies. I think there's a, a two-man uh, squad there. Guard squad tries to get in there to cap to get the cap, but they get killed by either a mine that was planted there or a shot there from the Panzer IV. I think it's too little too late from Dan. I think that's game. Yep, he's not going to be able to cap this VP in time. And that's GG. Well played to Momo. Wow, what a game. That was a really good game there, man. Momo looked like he was really struggling, losing machine gun after machine gun to the commandos. But he had a really good... He decided to do a big full attack on the right, catching Dan completely off guard. And he just, you know, in his, in his haste to try and, you know, stop that push coming, he played badly and it was out of position with some of his vehicles and he lost pretty much his, his whole army, or well, half of his army there went down. And Momo, like, didn't really lose anything. In, in that push, which was crazy. Um, wow. Damn, what a, what a, what a play there. But yeah, Dan, like, he needed that second anti-tank gun a lot sooner. Um, yeah, because he, he, he built that guard squad when that, that massive push happened. Uh, and that guard squad takes a while to build. If he had had a second anti-tank gun instead of that guard squad out, he would have had that, you know, anti-tank gun's cheaper manpower than the guards. If he built that sooner and had that covering that right flank, he probably would have done a lot better against that that huge push from Momo, um, but yeah, you know, he and also he didn't have any mines down to protect against that big push, so it was also um, uh, his his fault there. But uh, at least you know, Dan, very almost excellent use of the commandos that entire game. Those commandos lived the entire game. They had so many wipes, you know, very good play with them. Um, yeah, just needed something, you know. Yeah, needed a better composition there in, into the later stages with more anti-tankers and Momo. Um, you know, early game, his, his MGs weren't working. He should have had some kind of unit there to spot for the commando. Something that could spot a unit through the fog of war uh, or, or something, you know, invisible. Maybe if he kept the 221 alive, I think that has good um, detection radius. So I should have maybe tried to keep that alive a bit better. Um, and that would have helped against those commandos. And also a Nebelwerfer over the Wesp, I think, would have been a lot better choice as well. Um, and there was a moment in that game earlier where I said he should have gone for the um, the Martyrs instead of the Panzer IV because he was quite behind, far behind. But he had, he had a very fortunate wipe on the, one of the Crusaders that kind of went overextended, which kind of you know, allowed him to come back into the game. That was, you know, more of a mistake on Daniel's part, uh, uh, Dan's part, from pushing that Crusader too far forward. But uh, but yeah, good you know, good play overall. I hope you guys enjoyed that cast. I hope you enjoyed the, you know, if you, if you feel like my analysis is wrong there, or if you've got any criticisms, or, or if you think I can, you know, how I can improve and stuff with casting, please let me know. It's my, you know, getting back into the habit of casting Company Heroes 3, uh, or, or, you know, or company, uh, casting company heroes in general. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any any, any kind of casting, so uh, hopefully you've been enjoying these uh, these casts, and, uh, and if you have, I'll be making more of them. So guys, that's the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did and want more content, check up over here and over here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, make sure to click the button down here. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Take care, and I'll see you soon.